TLC in the Garden. Tina is showing YouTube land with her channel TLC in the Garden that no space is too okay, small for a garden. Checking in on everything. Back here we've got my kale that's starting to come up, still waiting on my spring onions and bunching onions. Those are one of my white potatoes. Only one came up out of two that were in the bag. And hopefully a lot more salad. TLC in the garden up. shows how her balcony garden functions while also brightening up the area. There's no reason to let time or space constraints keep you from supplementing the food you buy with the food you grow. You have never grown, but will grow in 2022. Well, after sitting in on enough lives with people, Lady Linda, Turf, you got me. We will be trying to kohlrabi next year. And removing some of the radish leaves as they're overshadowing the new row. And my daughter has been just loving them and eating them. She just can't wait. She's really been eyeballing this leaf here to eat. I told her it's not shadowing out anything, so she can't have it yet. TLC in the Garden is also a big supporter of community with mail calls and community post shoutouts that Tina likes to call tap-ins. So if you've got a balcony, a patio, or even a countertop, your space is never too small to have some TLC in the Garden. Check her out. Glam Off Grid some may know this That's Texas good. channel as the former Glam Trap Off Grid. It's so hard cutting stuff with a cut hand. With a hurt hand. Okay. So next I'm going to put in a jalapeno. Put the whole jalapeno. Since the when I leave the seeds in, I don't put the whole thing. What even is this channel? Then take some out of here and add them to there. I still have these Okay, two so we see a somewhat normal mom doing kitchen stuff. DIY stuff. Hey, that's pretty frugal. Some of the cleaning products that we get from the store tend to have toxic chemicals in them. And that's all for that recipe. You can use this for anything you need to dust in your house. And she grows some of their food. And it's all happening off grid. And without losing the glamour. We're going to be remaking <laughs> juice recipes that I found on Pinterest. I still have to do my lemon. You still have to do your lemon, Jessica. Jessica shows how off-grid life doesn't have to look like bare minimum. I got this for its medicinal properties. So pretty. So I won't be cooking with this. I'm going to be making a... Um... If you want to see a fashionably comfortable off-grid family life, plus shopping hauls, and some great DIY tips, I encourage you to check out Glam Off-Grid. One Million Pumpkins. One Million Pumpkins has spent the last year sharing their desert homestead and all their progress. So we could dig into the, into the banks. This has flagstone that we can use to help make the dam. But Including their shipping container barn. Shipping container. <laughs> They're going to... Now he's going to swing around and drive across the meadow and take off. If you're curious how they transform a metal shipping container into a luxury critter condo, like they have a plethora the of videos on it. Incrementally slow. We've been both building and painting the chicken fortress to deal with the tubes freezing for the rabbit nipple water system. Sniff. Good boy, Brisket. Speaking of critters, yes, there's rabbits and sheep. They love their alfalfa. I'm going to spread it around now. Horses. <laughs> You're feeling good, huh, big guy? Come on. I have not been in the saddle for years, but it would be easier to ride him than to walk him. <laughs> Y'all, I don't see any pumpkins, though. Petroglyph is going for a walk on Well, Petroglyph is kind <laughs> of round. All the lambs are saying, what? What? Some of that. I need a flower. Hi, sweet, sweet boy. boy. What do they do out there? Looks like work. Lots and lots Stay of work. Home, <laughs> if you are all about that homestead life with the, the shipping container, let one million pumpkins pique your interest. Check them out. Small space maximum yield 
container gardening, Texas living, and the glam life off-grid. That shipping container homestead life. Are these your people?